He's getting up. He ran out the door. <laughs> Did that get him? <laughs> no. Waller. Blow up his head. <sighs> Rocksteady must be getting desperate because they just made King Shark an LGBTQ queer icon. Granted, this has been developing in a lot of DC properties recently because that's what they've been doing with a lot of their characters. You know about Superman's son, he's an LGBTQ icon. Of course, Harley Quinn, they were churning a lot of characters this way because they think it gains popularity that way, even though the numbers say a different story with a lot of these properties failing miserably. Even the, the most popular version of Harley Quinn, the cartoon is not doing that great successfully it's just getting basic numbers and i think that is the case that we're seeing here with kill the justice league where the, the thought process is you get more people active with the property if you turn a character into an lgbtq icon and i think that is the case with king shark because they're heavily suggesting in some parts of the game that he is that way at least in the kill the justice league game and of course an animation kind of had that thought process too as well where they should briefly say that he was in a relationship with constantine and of course that characters lgbtq icon as well that just is this the, the overall trend in comic books and entertainment is to turn the majority of the characters this way because they have a weird thought process thinking that the majority of the world is half of this way and i think that is the small mindedness of the people in the development process of these games where they don't understand the audience that they're trying to grab attention from they expect the audience to be similar to the developers that they brought in to make these games even though the developers they did bring in to make this game are not skillful enough to make a game that is equal to a rocksteady game from 10 years ago if you see some of the images and drawbacks uh, to the previous iterations of the arkham universe games you can see the graphical power the overall gameplay and the nuance of the storytelling is on a different level with some of the old developers that worked on this game and you compare it to what we see with kill the justice league this looks like an overall downgrade this looks like a game from the late 2000s and i think that is uh, the case for at least the mechanics and, and some of the, the graphical power that they're exhibiting some of the scenes. And I think that is uh, the, the frustration with a lot of people when they're dealing with this type of game. They're thinking, okay, you're just making something out of the flightfulness of what you believe is right. And I think that's what we get with a lot of these developers that are more focused on their modern day political progressive takes where they don't even care how bad the game is and their solution to a bad game is to use these modern political takes to improve it or at least improve its per perception and the zeitgeist where they can use it as defense now this is going to be their defense all the evil incel people that dislike our video game they just hate the people of the the lgbtq persuasion because we have half of the main characters are, are queer icons and i'm like what are you talking about that it was even discussed in the game we played the game it was terrible no one liked it and that's the main focus i think that is the problem with uh, the the people that are developing these games they have this perception where they're always constantly trying to be the victim and they're trying to see who's the perpetrator who's the, the person that's victimizing them rather than trying to create a, a good narrative of the game or taking the fault into their own hands saying yeah we made something terrible we made something that didn't appeal to the mass fan base we made something about killing the justice league when everyone actually wants to play as the justice league it's just the, the stupidity behind the overall conception of the game that is dumbfounding to a person that understands the comic books and everything related to this universe no one wants to be king shark people want to be superman people want to be batman people want to be the flash for once people would rather be wonder woman than harley quinn but for the, some reason in their perception these characters the evil villains of the story are more relatable than the heroes and that's just all up to date with our modern day society where poor people feel more in harmony with the villains rather than the heroes and i think that is a sad state of affairs when people uh, at least the developers themselves think it's more entertaining to be some of these villain characters than actual superheroes and i think that just shows a degradation in our personal side of society where people rather have this as a, the representation of a video game rather than actual heroes saving people and i i think that is my main frustration with this game is just when i heard the announcement that they were going to make a, a kill the justice league game I'm like oh that failing movie property that no one wanted to see 
And they're going to make a game out of that uh, rather than the Justice League, which is the, the paramount organization of superheroes that people actually do want to see. And I think that is my main frustration that is just developing with all entertainment spaces where you have these people that hate the main core properties, the things that support these core properties. You saw that with Star Wars. People hated Luke Skywalker were making Star Wars movies. People that hate Star Trek and Picard we're making Star Trek movies. People that hate The Witcher, we're making Witcher TV shows. And it's just like, why are you getting people that hate the properties to make these uh, TV shows or make these movies? You see that with Marvel. People that hate Marvel are making Marvel movies. It's just the, the, the overall conception of that idea of getting people that hate the property or don't know anything about the property to make the property. You're going to get bad results because the fans are there for that property, for the, the core elements that they love. And, the, and you get and people that don't like that and i think that is the essential thing we're seeing here with with kill the justice league some people that are making the property hate the property and their main goal is their own personal philosophies and politics and that's why we have this announcement that they're proudly putting out there like king shark he's a queer icon i'm like okay who cares is the game better no it's not are you focusing on the justice league you already spent money focusing on the, the kill the justice league squad as they are so you have this uh, discrepancy between the, the talent that is making these projects and just the overall idea of what the fans want they don't care what the fans want they want to make probably the easiest thing which is a shooter game you can do that with uh, the, the kill the justice league squad you can't do that with batman superman the flash green lantern you actually have to be creative and i think that is the main thing that we're seeing in the development space we're seeing uncreative people trying to create something that is interesting to a fan base that is used to creativity in the video game space and that is going to be a hard sell to the majority of people that played the arkham universe games which were filled with creativity and ingenuity at least in the development space and that is the opposite with kill the justice league and that may lead to the end of rocksteady games because we, we see this happening throughout the, the the game industry where many projects many developers are going out of business and as we see this consistently after failing games and kill the justice league is one of the biggest failures of the year even though it's a early start to the year i think a few games are going to top it because we we have few AAA games coming out and I think that is the the thing that we're seeing here with Kill the Justice League an ultimate failure of a studio Rocksteady Games and I don't know if they're going to be able to survive this ultimately in the end and I think this desperate attempt to focus on the queer icons and just the socio-political elements of the game that they're injecting into it is kind of a last ditch effort to grab an audience that never really cared about video games in its entirety never cared about superhero movies never cared about comic books it seems like this continuous attention grab of i guess this minority group of audience they are always trying to grab the attention of and they do grab their attention on social media where they applaud them for their diversity and equity but they don't buy these games and that's why these video games are failing in these studios are going under but those are just my thoughts on on the situation what do you think about king shark being a queer icon is something they developed over at least the past few years but comic books have been captured for over the past decade or so so you have all these queer elements developing the comic book sphere so they can pull this out in a game and say oh it's in the comic book yeah you, you captured the comic book you influence the comic book you're you have the same ideology as the comic book artists that are making these terrible comics so yeah it wasn't a comic book in 2013 but uh, that's when you had a terrible writer that made a comic book that failed in 2013 so that's just the, the the way the situation is in the entertainment industry and i don't think it's going to change but you leave your thoughts comments like share subscribe this is wagner knows why catch you next time